This is Bill Prince. I live in Houston, Texas. And in the past, I made a, a few videos on some uh, uh, things that I've made from scratch, my own design. And uh, not too long back, I made uh, some puzzle boxes. And I made this one, which was kind of complicated. Uh, took me about three months to make, called Heron's Box. And it, it opens with a, a swirling type of motion when you move the box in kind of a circular motion. When it's upside down, it'll open the box. It has a complicated uh, brass mechanism in it. Uh, this was a little bit simpler one that I made after this one. And this one I call Hook's Box. So there's a, there's a video on Heron's Box, if you want to look it up. And there's another one on Hook's Box. And this one operates with a, a simpler mechanism uh, that has uh, basically uh, uses um, um, an uh, inertia or impact type of load that will open this box. And that little blue one I made back when I was about 12 years old, which is kind of a, a simple type box, but I still have it. Anyway, on this video, I want to talk about a, a new one that I uh, just made. And I may call it a Hero's Box because it has a mechanism that was also designed by Heron of Alexandria, who is also known as Hero of Alexandria. And this one is a, has a different stain, kind of an antique uh, blonde uh, type of stain to it. And see the bottom of it. This is just some decorative uh, designs. One of them actually used, it has like a little spring in it. And these other ones just kind of camouflage that fact and it has uh, handles on it and uh, handles are just uh, handles and it's uh, currently uh, locked and this these, these boxes here the uh, the lid comes off this box uh, has a, a hinged uh, top on it and anyway so what I like about um, uh, and as far as I know there's not another box that was um, uh, anywhere that has ever been made uh, to operate like this one does. Same with this one here and the same with, with that one. These are all unique. And this box is uh, also uh, rather simple if you know how to get into it. There's a lot of puzzle boxes that are extremely complex and how many moves you have to do to get into the box. And, uh, and so it, it's impossible to get into the box if you don't know how. And even if you know how, it's next to impossible. And uh, those, I'm just not interested in that type of uh, an apparatus. Uh, this one, you know, all of these boxes are next to impossible to get into if you don't know how. But if you know how, it's very, very easy, very simple to get into the box. And so this one here, I'll show you how it, how it works. These little caps on here come off. And they're actually a little pivot for the handle, but they're also little, little tubes. And so this one to open the box, you blow into it a couple of times. And the box opens. And if you notice, there's a, a fan in it. And uh, that uh, fan uh, is free moving, very free moving, made out of aluminum, so it doesn't have too much uh, inertia once it gets spinning up. And it has an all-thread rod. It's, it's loose in here. There's no friction. And it has a little uh, latch. It's made out of aluminum, so it's light, easy to move. And a small all-thread rod. And so when uh, the, um, I'll show you here, to lock it, you blow into the other hole. And you'll see it uh, move as I, as I blow into it. And so the uh, plunger or the latch goes all the way into the side of the box. And, um, and this little lever here, since it is rather uh, deep in the box, <clears throat> I have it where it's hinged. So it'll drop down. If it was solid, it would come out here to the edge. So it'll drop you know, down. And the plunger goes through this uh, hole. And if you notice, the, um, uh, there's a little spring on here. And there needs to be a spring on when you un when you release it and when you set set it is locked. When it's locked and when it's unlocked, it has to be a spring on each side. Otherwise, there's too much uh, momentum, and the fan when you blow on it, it'll just suddenly stop and it, it'll lock the threads. 
and so this cushions it and it slows it down uh, slowly so that the threads don't lock and that way you can open and close it otherwise you wouldn't have enough breath uh, to open or, or close it. I'll unlock it again and uh, this. and it's all the way back and we close it and then it's locked by this side and it should be uh, locked and put the caps back on and uh, that's uh, my new new puzzle box. So thanks for watching.